Hey, Gen Chem 2 students. So just a real quick video about what I've done for our kinetics experiment and what you guys need to do. Um, so I'm going to impersonate a student and show you what the group function looks like in Blackboard because this is a different version of Blackboard than many of you might have used before. So, so when you log in, you're gonna see that I have put a link to our kinetics data right on the top of our website. Um, some of these have incorrect sig figs. So if uh, you told me that it needed to have more, I made a little note and I can just fix it like that. If you didn't tell me and the sig figs got cut off in Excel incorrectly, please let me know that and I can fix that. Uh, but at any rate, so you have all the data there <laughs> and you have a place to submit your report. So I'm impersonating a made up student that I put into Aiden and Nayeli's group. But this, you know, when you log in, it'll say whatever your name is and your partner's name. So if you click on this, it's going to op open up some of the options for uh, group work. So within Blackboard, you can have a conversation. This is just texting. Um, you can choose either to share with the whole class or you can choose just to share with your group. Um, and then you can, you can see who's been replying and all that kind of stuff. You can also either from here by clicking on the camera, you can record or go into a group meeting space as well. Okay, so you can also find a group meeting space down here and it just opens up kind of like a Zoom like thing which allows you to collaborate online without having to have Zoom. Um, you can record those sessions if somebody can't make it. You can, um, let's see, yeah. So it's a useful tool for working together online. Only one person needs to submit this, so you can view assessment in order to submit it. Um, some important and handy information to have is this rubric which lists sort of the most important components. So for example, you should have an introduction section and he, here's some criteria, some things to do and make sure you've covered. This is how many points you get for each level. If you wanna see the points for like the data tables, here's, here's your criterion. So this is a really good um, resource. And then I think you can copy, I put a link to a, an addendum that has even more details about the calculation and the discussion and conclusion because um, I hit the character limit. <laughs> and so I wanted to give you um, information. Uh, it's basically just a little checklist. So you can go look at this Google document for that. It's also linked in the description of the assignment somewhere. Let's see. Maybe it didn't link it. At any rate, you can find that by just copying from the rubric directly as well. So you want to make sure that someone in your group has submitted it by the due date, which is the beginning of lab on the 28th. But in the meantime, you should create a Google document. Uh, in this case, a sheets document to do your calculations. And you should click on the share button and add in the Google account for all your partners. Uh, one file per group is all that's needed. And then add me to that document. And what will happen is I'll get an alert if you have a comment that you need uh, help with. So say like, you wanna, you wanna say, is this the right number of significant figures? You click the little chat bubble there and you can add a comment. So when you do that, I'll get an email if you have added me to your spreadsheet. So this is a way of it for, for easing the burden of group work. You don't necessarily have to get together to do things. You can have conversations um, both within Blackboard or within your document, and you can make comments to keep everybody on track, okay? Uh, I will, if you share your link with me, I will periodically go in there and check on your calculations and see if you're on the right track. If you're not, I'll try to help you get back on track or maybe we can make an appointment for office hours or another time um, to clear up any of your confusion. Don't wait till the last minute to start. I know some of you already have started. 
Um, but be sure to share the link with me so I can help you through the process.